power and save it.
activate the distress call. Job. Now we need to get the data you came for. I've called in a technician to see if we can get anything useful out of that terminal. The Marines with him will take orders from you. Deploy your troops, and keep that tech alive long enough to get the data. Marine. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Okay, I'll guard the control room. You. Yes, sir. Control room secure. Okay, I'll guard the control room. Marine. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Control room secure. Okay, I'll guard the control room. You. Yes, control sir. Room secure. Guard the control room. I'll guard the control room. Control you. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Okay. I'll guard the control room. Control room, secure. Marine. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Okay, I'll guard the control room. Control room, secure.
Control room, secure. Control room, secure. Control room, secure. Extruding myself in your cabin. It's okay, Nabon. What can I do for you? I still do not understand why the hero of the Strider Wars is serving on this ship. You got a minute? I'll tell you. Ida was a child prodigy, a strategic genius. She was an international 3D chess master by the age of 10, and drafted by the Terran military before she was out of braces. About 10 years ago, at the height of the Strider Wars. Things were going badly for us. We were outnumbered and outgunned. It seemed only a matter of time before we'd be wiped out. Ida turned it all around. On an out-of-the-way planet called Tycho, she created a sort of electronic Potemkin village, a massive underground complex of transmitters and antennas. She made it seem as if the Terran military had concentrated their headquarters and most of their forces there. The Striders went for it. They landed in full force, right above the transmitters. Our ships had been hiding behind Tycho's moon. They came out and nuked the planet into oblivion. It was a brilliant victory. Yeah, but it had a price. Tycho had hundreds of Terran colonists, innocents who couldn't be warned of Ida's plan. When she activated the transmitters, she signed their death warrants. But. Because they died, millions lived. She knows that. She made the choice. But she's never forgiven herself. As she grew older, she rebelled. She thinks the military made her a monster, and now she doesn't trust them or anyone else. You should tell her to trust you. It doesn't quite work that way.
many pardons, but could we talk later? Get out of here, stupid animal. <laughs> Ready for the briefing? Not yet. I scrounged some concussion grenades for you, and I finally figured out what to do with that arachnid biomass you found back on Hell. Turned out to be a hell of a weapon. You gotta check it out. Take your pick. How powerful is the concussion grenade? It sends out a shockwave that'll knock most of your enemies flat on their ass. Pretty impressive blast radius, too. Anything else? You made a gun that shoots spiders? Oh, I had me some fun with this one. Turns out the arachnids you ran into on Hell have a really durable biomass. I loaded some into this ejaculator tube. Primary fire spits out a sack that'll spawn a bunch of little arachnids on your target. With all fire, the sack will grow until it splits and a big sucker pops out and goes on the attack. What'll it be? See you later. I hope that thing isn't pregnant. I hope that thing isn't pregnant. Ready for the briefing? Let's do it. Both the Izanagi and Leandri have learned the location of our secret research lab on Janus. The ghost warriors are already on the ground and the angels aren't far behind. Our top expert on the artifacts works at the lab. His name is Dr. Meyer. He's got two artifacts down there, and he's in charge of the entire facility. Polaris is a huge base set on top of a cliff. It houses hundreds of scientists and vast quantities of equipment. It's one of the largest human-built installations in the sector. Most of the scientists have already gotten out, but Meyer is still in there. The terrain surrounding the facility is pretty bleak. Janus is a cold planet 6,000 miles in diameter, orbiting the weak K-type star Asgar. The only surviving species are hardy plants and animals that have adapted to the frozen landscape. Your mission is to recover both artifacts and make sure the mercs don't capture Dr. Meyer. The 
The landing pad is here. The main entrance isn't far away, but you have to go over a bridge to get there. The Izanagi are already holding the bridge, so it's sure to be heavily fortified. Watch out, especially for snipers and turrets. Good luck, John. Was there something else? Isaac did pretty well back there on Caledon. He fixed the ship and nothing flat. And have you seen the work he's done on my weapons? I'd be dead now if it weren't for him. That's his job, John. You give him too much credit. And you don't give him enough. Maybe. So my job is to grab the artifacts and rescue this Dr. Mai. That's it. You can look at the holos again if you want. Got anything else on the planet? Not really. Janus is ancient even by cosmological standards, which means it's geologically quiet and cooling off rapidly. Asgar, its sun, has almost consumed the last of its hydrogen fuel and continues to diminish in brightness. Pretty bleak. See you later.
What's going on here? An hour ago, a squad of mercs came through, armed to the teeth. They're after the artifacts. Dr. Meyer is the only one who knows how to get at them. God help him if they find where he's hiding. You need any help? No, I'll just stay right here. Is there anything I need to know to get around in there? When all this started, I hit the emergency locks on the umbilical doors. But I'll open them up for you.
attacked. Hello? Open the door, please. What's the code? I'm on your I side. Oh, no. Aw, come on. Talk, Never mind. You bastard. Access denied. Talk, you bastard! I've got all night. You might as well talk. He's a freaking Kai! How should I know? Tell us! John Dalton, Terran Colonial Authority. Are you one of them? No, I'm from the government. I'm here to help. Where are the artifacts? I can get them for you. But you've got to get me out of here alive. Deal. Get going. I'll watch your back.
It's me, Mott. Hey, open up! He's been all over the artifacts ever since we got them. He doesn't let them out of his sight. Come on, open the door! Open the goddamn door! Maybe if you showed him a little respect. What? He's just a Kai. Okay! Please? Here they are. No, wait. I need insurance. Yeah. Get me out of here, then I'll turn them over. Fine. You hold on to them. Let's head back to my ship. Stay here. It's the safest place for you. Just... Lock the door when we leave. What the hell was that? Bad news. The Leandre landed and blew up the bridge. There went your yellow brick road. You're gonna have to fight on up to the roof. I'll send the Marines to the area. Call me. Ida? Ida! They're jamming the transmission. We gotta get up to the roof. Follow me. I can handle this. So often, you'd have more ammo. Follow me. Damn! The door's jammed. We've got to get outside. How about a little serving and protecting over here? Can't you try reasoning with them? You have to make such a mess! We've got to get outside. What's that gonna buy us? There's a maintenance rig over on the other side. It'll take us up to the roof. Are you coming along? Are you nuts? I'm too valuable to risk out there. Clear the way, soldier boy. Call me when it's safe. How can we stay in touch? I'll talk to you on my headset. I've got a local net they can't jam. I'm getting kinda hungry. Keep your shirt. <laughs> You want to come out here and help? You're a pain in the ass. I should have called the Marines. They're few, they're proud, and they ain't here.
late for the prom or something? Hello? We don't have all day. I'm working out here! Stupid Jarhead. I heard that. And it's Marshall's stupid Jarhead to you! All clear. Come on around. About time. I'm on the way. Took you so long. Just shut up. Let's go. The good news is you made it. The bad news, we can't call your ship down. All the frequencies are jammed. You know what? We've got a transmitter that's so old they probably don't know how to jam it. If I can get it running, we've got a chance. I'll show you where it is. Huh?
<laughs> I was right. It's all here. I can make it work, but as soon as it powers up, they're gonna know we're here. I'll need more time after that to tune it. How about we set up a defensive perimeter and then give you the word? That'll work. Let me know when you're ready. Marine. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Sir, yes, sir. Marine. Yes, sir. Guard the right wall. You got it. What's you? Yes, sir. Patrol the interior. I got the front. You. Yes, sir. Patrol the right wall. Roger that. You! Yes, sir! Guard the left wall. You've got it! Huh? Sometime today would be nice. Yes, sir. 
Patrol the interior. I got the front. Front door secure. Still awake out there? Come back and let me know when I can start. Marine. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Sir, yes, sir. Yet? We're all set. Let her rip. Okay, here goes.
have silencers or something? First, I'm gonna wring his neck. Then I'm gonna shoot him. <gasps> then I'm gonna kick his ass right off this rooftop. We're set, but you gotta raise the antenna. It's near marker four. You done yet? I could have built a damn radio by now. I doubt that. They don't have instructions written in moron. Step out here and say that. No <laughs> time. Besides, you're gonna have more company. Merc's on the way.
Ida, we're in the clear. Get us out of here. On the way. Orders from Drexler say to terminate all surviving non-military personnel. Who, Meyer? I'm not leaving him behind. Your orders are clear. He knows too much to fall into enemy hands. You're breaking up again, Ida. Can't hear you. Ida! Here's the deal. Give me the artifacts, I get you to safe transport. Otherwise, I leave you here with a few good men. Take your damn artifacts. Just get me out of here. Things are heating up, John. Tell me about it. Our researchers have been trying to decipher the glyphs on the artifacts. They speculate that if all the artifacts are combined, they'll form a weapon of unimaginable power. We cannot allow them to fall into the wrong hands. We've got five of them. Do we know where the other two are? The data you got on Sulfuron revealed they have a unique energy signature. We scanned for other occurrences and were able to pinpoint their locations. The Izanagi Corporation is a major installation and dig site on Nakoja Abad. They've found an artifact, but they haven't removed it yet. I've uploaded a holograph of their base for you to look at when we're done. So that's my next stop. Do whatever it takes. And now for the good news. Because of your outstanding performance, General Drexler has not only agreed to a permanent reinstatement in the Marines, but it comes with a promotion to Colonel. Congratulations, John. I'll be sorry to lose you, but I'm glad to see things work out the way you... Something's not right about this, John. 